This is the real Tom Rose, and we've got ourselves a wicked percents problem here. We've got to figure out which one of these crazy answers is the price David paid for his class. Now, here's, I think this problem is the complexity of this, I will argue, calls out for plugging in numbers. If you try to do algebra, you're going to go nuts trying to plug into this. So uh, let's start out with uh, picking some values. I'm going to pick uh, the price of that class is $100. And why do I pick 100? Well, we're dealing with percents. I'm trying to pick something that's going to be easy. My usual rules are small primes. But I don't want to pick $13 for the price of the class because it'll get it'll get nutty. So I'm going to do price of class is 100. And let's say that the discount, which is Y percent, is 20%. And David's discount, M, is 10%. But well, first, let's figure out our target. So let's start out with our 100 bucks. And we're going to take 20% off. So once 20% is taken off of that, we're left with 80 bucks. Then we're going to do a 10% off. 10% of 80 is 8 bucks. So we're going to end up with 72. 72 bucks. That's the price David paid in my target fantasy world. So now what we're going to do is come, come over to our answer choices and figure out which one of these represents 72 when we plug in. And let's start running the numbers. So A is 100 times 1 minus 20 over 100 times 1 minus 10 over 100. That's... 100 times 0.8 times 0.9. I'm going to plug this into my calculator. And I get my answer, 72. Wow, that was lucky. So I'm hoping this is going to be the answer. Um, since we got on the first hit, you may consider trying to switch to algebra. Ask yourself whether these things are expressions for discounts, and they are. But let's keep let's keep going with the plug numbers method and see and see how well it serves us and how long it takes. Um, let's do one minus twenty times one minus ten over a hundred. Well, these are negative numbers. We don't like that. That's not right. And let's do this one. 100 times 1 minus y plus m is 10 plus 20 over 100. This has potential. Let's do 100. I'm just going to plug this into my calculator and see what I get. Ten plus twenty is thirty. Over a hundred is three tenths. One minus that is seven tenths times a hundred. Close but no cigar. We get a seventy here. One hundred. Let's go to the next one. One hundred times one minus y times m. So this will be ten times twenty over a hundred. Well, that's going to be 200. That's way too big. You can plug it into your calculator, but that 200 up there is going to be enormous. And finally, let's do A times 20 over 100 times 10 over 100. Well, that's, instead of A, that should be 100. That equals 2. And that is out. So there's your answer, answer choice A. And it didn't take too long. We got to do some grinding because of the nuttiness of the answer choices here. But we get there.